One easy way to run PageSpeed Insights in bulk is with Google Sheets and a little bit of App Script. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can paste a list of URLs you want to test into one sheet, click a button, and get PageSpeed Insights data for both mobile and desktop returned to you in separate sheets in the same workbook. Now we all know how important PageSpeed Insights is now that Google is using PageSpeed as a ranking factor and also did that study showing that sites can get 24% more traffic simply by meeting Google's recommended thresholds for Core Web Vitals. Yet Google's widely accessible tools for measuring and optimizing our site's performance are severely lacking in some key areas that I will try to solve in this video. Let's get started with a really quick warning. Some of the stuff in this video is a little on the technical side, but don't worry. I'll show you how you can use an AI chatbot like ChatGPT to overcome any technical hurdles you might encounter along the way. Plus, I'll put a link to my script in the description so that you can get up and running fast with only one little change to the code I'll show you in a minute. Let's get started. The easiest way to run PageSpeed Insights in bulk with a Google Sheet is to get a copy of the sheet with the script attached to it from someone else. There are a few copies of this script floating around that you can copy for free on the web. I got mine from a site called LemonHive and spent hours modifying it to provide more information, which I'll show you in a moment. I'll provide links to LemonHive's page, which has some basic instructions, as well as a link to my modified script that I'm going to show you how to get and run now. The way you obtain these scripts is to click a link to open someone else's publicly available Google Sheet, which has the script attached to it, and then make a copy of it to your own G Drive. This means you will need a Google account for this to work. Once you have a copy of the sheet on your G Drive, I recommend renaming it so you can be sure you are running your copy on your G Drive and not someone else's because the first time you run the script, you will have to give the app permission to run and it's reassuring to know you are giving permissions to your copy of the script. Once you have your copy of the sheet, you will need two more things before you can run the script. First, you will need a PageSpeed API key, which is really easy to obtain for free unlimited access to the PageSpeed API. I'll provide a link in the description where you can obtain a PageSpeed Insights API key. Once you have the API key, you can access the app script by clicking here and then pasting the API key to where it belongs here. Second, you will need a list of URLs to paste on this sheet here that will be fed to the script once you click run. If you already have a list, that's great, but what if you don't? When running PageSpeed Insights in bulk using any method, it's best to also be able to obtain a list of URLs in bulk so you don't have to do that manually. Well, most sites have a sitemap that's easy to find at the site's domain forward slash sitemap.xml. If you can't find it there, try the site's robots.txt file to see if a sitemap URL is listed there. Most sitemaps look like this though, and there is still work to be done to extract the URLs from the file and paste them into the Google Sheet. This looks like an easy job for an AI chatbot though. I found this prompt works with ChatGPT. And I think the part about providing the list of URLs in a format that can be pasted into Google Sheets is important because one time I tried to get it to give me a list of URLs, it tried to be helpful and informed me that the sitemap was human readable in a browser and that I could extract them myself. So if you use ChatGPT and it gives you any lip, just be persistent and try to re reword your prompt until it does what you needed to do because it can. Hey, even chatbots get lazy sometimes. Okay, with the right amount of encouragement, ChatGPT made quick work of that task. Speaking of encouragement, before I paste that list into the sheet and show you how I run this script, can I ask you a quick favor? If you're finding this video helpful, could you please give me a little encouragement too and click that like button so I know it's helping? And if you have any questions about anything you see here, please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks. Once you get your list of URLs, paste it here and go back to the app script and click run here. And before you run off thinking that this magical script solves all your problems now, hold on just a second because this method also has its limitations, which might cause you to consider another way to run PageSpeed Insights in bulk, which I'll share later in this video. The first limitation you'll notice right away is speed. I'll speed up this video so you can see it takes about six minutes to finish. and it doesn't actually finish. It stops when it reaches the maximum app script execution time, which is about six minutes. If we go back into the sheet though, we see there are some results for us in here in two different tabs, one for mobile and one for desktop. If you look back here at the input sheet, we input a list of 49 URLs. However, it was only able to get through this many in six minutes. That's pretty slow and not a lot of pages tested either. 
I looked into solving this problem a little, and I did get the impression people have figured out some slick ways around it, like by scheduling a script to run on smaller batches of URLs like every week, which seems pretty cool for the use case of having a report that gets updated automatically every week that you can just access whenever you want, but that seemed a little complicated to implement and wasn't what I really needed for my project. I did think of one way to make this particular script work for me that might work for you, and that's by creating a shorter list of pages that are a good sampling of the pages of the site I want to test, like just the home page, the about page, the tags page, a couple tags within the tags, pages, etc. But I figured if I search a little harder, I might be able to find a better script that solves this problem. And after a quick search, I didn't find a better sheet, but I did find a way to run PageSpeed Insights in bulk really fast that I decided to look into first. Another big problem with running PageSpeed Insights in bulk with a Google Sheet like this is the copy you get from somewhere else will probably need modification before it will do what you need it to do. I spent a lot of time making modification to LemonHive script to add all of this information over here. So if this doesn't work for you, then you will have to modify the code even more, which is another good job for an AI chatbot of your choice, but could take a long time if the AI isn't able to do it quickly. I was able to get ChatGPT to modify the code to add a couple of these columns, but it choked a little on adding the audit scores. So I had to read through the API docs, modify the code myself to add those. That took me like an entire day to figure out. Then I realized that there are still a couple more things missing that I would need in the future. As I explained in my tutorial, I'll link here again, PageSpeed Insights consists of two main parts, user experience data and the Lighthouse audit. All we are seeing here in the Google Sheet is Lighthouse audit results. There is no user experience data. I did find that it should be possible to add user experience data according to this page here. And as an interesting side note, it looks like Google is going to remove these API calls from the PageSpeed API and put them in a separate Crux report API. And another thing that's still missing that I really need to have is the URL to the audit results. When you run PageSpeed Insights, you can return to the results quickly by using this link, which can be copied to your clipboard by clicking this button right here. So if I decide to use this script much more, that's definitely something I will be looking into adding. It would just be so nice to have a link to the results right here somewhere. So if one of these audits is failing, you could easily click on it go to the report and take a closer look. Again, if you want access to my modified version of the script, check the description for a link to that. I did find another free tool to run PageSpeed Insights in bulk that I think is much better than the Google Sheet and App Script approach because this other tool retrieves all of the URLs automatically, is much faster, and provides all of the Lighthouse audits in a slick web interface. And you can learn more about that tool by clicking this next video here. And if you aren't seeing links to any of the videos I mentioned in this video, please subscribe, turn on notifications so you can get notified when they come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.